Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Check it out. I'm going to get right to the point for this one. Today's video, my buddy is letting me borrow his CVA Scout in 300 Blackout. This, these Scouts are absolutely awesome. If you haven't heard of them, check them out. But long story short, they're break open, single action rifles. They're very accurate. I can say that for a fact because I filmed this exact same setup in 4570 and we're just getting just about same whole groups and then I have the 35 Welland which is right here one of my absolute favorites same story same whole groups at 100 yards with 35 Welland that thing is a beast but my buddy let he bought let me borrow his CVA Scout in 300 blackout appreciate that big time I'm gonna give you the quick rundown Stainless steel fluted barrel. I put this muzzle brake on it to help us out with the accuracy. This is one of the Ultra Dines. I'll show you quick because somebody's going to ask me. This is the Ultra Dine Apollo Max 7.62. This particular one says you can use it for 308, 300 Blackout, 300 Savage, 3030. You guys get it. But Apollo Max 7.62, my first time ever trying these out. Should be pretty cool, and that's an Ultra Dine model. But <clears throat> I put that muzzle brake on it. Should help us squeeze all the accuracy out of it we can. This is a 16.5 inch barrel, which means you don't have to get any special paperwork. Anybody can buy this. Also means this would be an incredible Shusher can host. Uh, maybe when I get one of those, I'm working on it. We could try this again with the Shusher on it. But uh literally is the definition of a scout rifle short barrel um, I've got that muzzle brake on it and yeah they come with this rail on it you don't have to try to find a rail he's got a pretty nice uh, SIG scope on it this is a three to nine and yeah the triggers on these are incredible and that's about it let's hit to the range uh, see how we can do with it. The ammo that I'm taking to the range today, the sighted in quick, let me show you before we hit it, uh, is some of this barn all, uh, 145 grain, and this is actually steel case, believe it or not, steel case 300 blackout. Um, I'm going to film another video doing 100 yard group test, um, and we'll see which 300 blackout that this CVA Scout really likes, but there's those barn alls, 145 grains. It's the cheapest I got, and I got the most of this, so um, you hate to burn a bunch of the good stuff sighting it in, but um, let's hit the range, see how good I can do. CVA Scout, that muzzle brake on it. I love these things. They're also, <laughs> I was going to say cheap. Cheap isn't the right word. These are very affordable, but hey, let's hit the range. See what we can do with this baby. I'm excited about it. Out here at the range, I just bore sighted this thing, looking through the bore at a target at 50 yards. Hopefully that's gonna get us on paper at 100. I forgot my laser bore sighter. Daggummit, you guys that watch the channel know I love this thing, but got a big old piece of paper at 100 yards. Hopefully my bore sight was good enough to get us on there. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna sight this thing in with this barn all. If y'all can see that. How heavy is this? 145 grand. Why am I sighting it in with this? Because this is the cheapest stuff I got and I got the most of it. So that's what we're slinging. But <clears throat> this uh, CVA Scout isn't worth a count unless it's sighted in. So let's sight it in. See what we can do. <clears throat> Good trigger pull. I think we hit the paper on the left shoulder there. Yep, looks like we hit the hit the left shoulder. So let me make some adjustments to the scope here. Let's go. What kind of clicks we got? One and a quarter MOA. So we need to come down probably four inches. So let's go ahead and give it 16 down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we're left about we'll call it two inches so we'll go to the right eight clicks we got it closer definitely uh, not too much recoil uh, especially I guess with that muzzle brake on it but make some more adjustments let's go uh, let's go eight down and eight right at least we know uh, I adjusted it the right way there this time huh I grab one of these bow lots out of here Did that hit dead bullseye? No way. Let me check the tape over here. Yep. We got dead bullseye. Of course, that could have been a mistake. So let me go ahead and send two more at that uh, center target of that paper. The fog's making it hard for my camera to focus, but let me send two more there, then we'll go to a clean target and do a little three-shot group. If this thing is anything like my 35 Welling, that 35 Welling puts them in there, man. And this is just with the cheap ammo, too. Looks to me like it's putting them in there. Let's, let's uh, grab a clean target, move over to a paper plate. Let's send like five of them. This is some cheap ammo. Just speed up the tape here. Five shots here in a row. Clean target. Now, keep keep in mind now, this is only a nine power scope. Plenty good enough for taking deer. I'm doing my absolute best to do this thing justice with nine power zoomies holding the exact same spot and breaking that trigger real good. right in there guys we might be even getting a one inch group out of this steel case stuff wouldn't surprise me honestly they put awesome barrels in these things we're getting this barrel warm uh, I'm gonna move to a clean target let this thing cool for a second and we'll come right back and do another clean plate just because I'm having fun. Also, if I hadn't said it already, stay tuned. I'm gonna do an ammo test with a bunch of 300 blackout ammo. Spend a whole bunch of money, but we're really gonna find out what ammo this thing likes the best. So stay tuned for that video. Do five more on a clean plate here. We'll run them to the house, put the calipers on them, see how we did, even with this real cheap steel case ammo, but like I said, this is my buddy's bing bang, appreciate him letting me borrow it. Alright, we made it back from the range. It was raining and it was foggy, hopefully the footage isn't too terrible, but what we did out there, I forgot my, I normally boresight everything with a laser boresighter and it, that gets it really close, but I forgot that thing in my other ammo box. But what I did was just look down the bore and then move the scope. We got it done. Started taking cracks at it. Got a hit there. Adjusted it. Got a hit there. Then a hit there. 
And then at 100 yards, we got a bullseye on that sucker. Not bad uh, for bore sighting it at 100 yards just looking down the barrel. But we did get a bullseye. And then <clears throat> I did three groups at 100 plates. I got three different paper plates. Uh, here's a five shot group right here I did. Not the best. Let me grab the calipers. They're sitting right here in front of me. Might as well use them if we got them here. And remember, this is with that cheap ammo, right, guys? So this first five-shot group I did at 100 yards is, there you go, 2.32 inches. Not the best group you ever seen at 100 yards, huh? But the, the, uh, the second two I did were actually considerably better. You can see that one. That is a good group. I don't care what you're flinging. Uh, that's a good group in my book at 100 yards. Especially first time at the range with that thing. Let me re-zero this to make sure we're dead on. Yep. We're good. This one. We tightened it up right there at a 1.5 inch group on that one. I'd call that pretty good. And then this one was pretty close to the same at 100 yards. And remember, this is only with a nine power scope. Uh, when I'm trying to do precision stuff, I like to have like 24 zoomies on that baby. Uh, but hey, nine powers is plenty zoomies for taking that baby deer hunting. And this one is the best. So that right there is actually 1.36. So with the very cheap uh, bulk steel case barn all ammo, we got a 1.3 inch group. I'd call that pretty good with a nine power zoomy scope. Where's that thing at? Here we go. But there you have it guys. Quick video, first shots and sighting in. Uh, I normally do one of those videos every time I get to get my hands on a new Bing Bang. Muzzle brake, uh, pretty cool. I didn't show you guys up real close, but it's got the slide cuts on the side and then the vents on the top. To uh, The idea behind it is to reduce the recoil and keep the muzzle rise down, but I need to do a video on that just with it and without it. Um, I didn't do that today, but CVA Scout 300 Blackout. If you've never put your hands on one, check one out. Uh, I absolutely love them. They're very affordable, and they they do phenomenal groups. Uh, we use that steel case today and got 1.3 inch group was the best one. Stay tuned. I'm going to do another 100 yard video, taking out a bunch of the 300 blackout bow lots, and I guarantee you we'll find one that this sucker loves, and we'll probably just about put them in the same hole. But appreciate y'all watching. Let me know what you think about the CVA Scouts. Like I said, I'm a big fan. Uh, they don't cost a whole lot of money, and you can get a whole lot out of them. But check it out. This one's in 300 Blackout. Stay tuned for more on this baby and a whole lot more videos. Appreciate y'all big time. We have the best viewers on the interwebs. We'll see you on the next one.